Hey everybody, Ian here at Able Sony in Burbank with a quick tip on connecting wirelessly between your Sony PMW F5 or F55 with your handheld device. And this is all capable now because of firmware 1.2. So you must have 1.2 firmware installed in either camera in order to access this capability. And it's a three-step process. We're gonna start with the hardware. Inside the box with your camera was one of these little white boxes, and this is a USB LAN wireless uh, module that will interface into the camera and allow us to transmit to your wireless device. This is the actual module here. It's a tiny uh, little transmitter receiver with a USB connector on it. And in order to install it, we're gonna go to this little port just to the left of the viewfinder cable. And to access this port, you push down and pull away from the camera. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop this in and return the cover, and that's it in terms of hardware interfaces. Everything else from now is gonna be menu driven. I've opened up my camera menus and we're gonna scroll down to the system menu. And we're gonna go down to, the first thing we're gonna do is go into my basic authentication menu. And as you see, I've set up a username and a password once I've done that, now I want to go into the Wi-Fi menu. And I'm going to turn it on. And next item down here is my SSID and password. SSID is another term for the name of the network. So this direct menu is the, or network is the one we're gonna choose in order to communicate with the camera. And when you set this up, it's gonna ask you for a password. And here, this password here, the HGAPM6PW, is the password for my camera that I'm gonna use in order to activate the network. And then down here, my IP address, this is the address I will be typing into the uh, web browser in order to communicate with the camera. Now the nice thing about this setup is that once this is all done, you don't have to set up any networks on your device itself. You're simply gonna choose this network, put in the password that you've created in the previous menu, and then you're ready to go. All right, step three, we're at my desktop here. I'm going to go in and choose the network for the camera. And there's this direct one right here. So it will prompt me that it has connected to the camera. I'm gonna call up a Safari browser and I'm gonna type in the IP address of the camera. And there's my interface. So now as you can see, uh, this is offering us a whole host of different things that we can choose or change wirelessly. Uh, one of the most notable being auto white and auto black. Uh, but a lot of other great things that we can choose from here. Color bars on off. Uh, we can change our sensitivity depending on uh, you know, what mode we're in. Choose our gamma, shutter, color temp, all that stuff. And we also have the ability to go in and do assigns. If I go in here and I click on this, it will now give me a pull down menu. It'll allow me to change uh, to whatever I want on that button. Click OK, and now I have the assigns. It also gives me my audio readouts uh, and what I'm recording at, resolution, uh, my codec, all those things, uh, power, a lot of fantastic connectivity here. So whether you choose to use your desktop, your iPhone, or your iPad, firmware 1.2 and the LAN connection now gives us the connectivity and the ease of use of the F55 and the F5 that we've been looking forward to. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.